ready to race board is displayed. Lights out, and we go racing. Good start from Mark Donnelly off the front row. Not bad at all from Roger Thomas as they come down in towards the first corner. Thomas goes for the joker on the first time. So it's Donnelly from Vittles then into the first corner, followed by Julian Godfrey as they come out of Chesson's Drift down the Dover slope and heading in towards the Devil's Elbow for the first time. But an absolutely textbook start there from Mark Donnelly. He gets away very nicely indeed. And now it's all about the man in second place, Robert Vittles in the 126. What is he going to be able to do to try and mount a challenge on the reigning champion? Yeah, it's the LD Motorsport 1-2 then, the black and white machines, the more up-to-date Citroen DS3 of Mark Donnelly heads the field, but that older C4 beat them all yesterday on Saturday, so we know how quick the C4 in second place is. Over the timeline we go then to start the second lap in towards Chesson's Drift we go then, so presumably Mark Donnelly's strategy here will not be to Joker until the last opportunity that he has. A little bit wide there through Chesson's, cost him a little bit of time on the way in, but he gathers it all up on the way out, and on the run down the Dover slope, that gap to Rob, uh, Robert Spittles sits at a pretty consistent margin. Julian Godfrey there in the white Fiesta in the background, not too far adrift off these guys, but not doing anything to be able to close up onto the back of them as it stands. And now we have to ask the question about Roger Thomas. He jokered then on the first lap. Is that going to be the right strategy for? Yeah, it could be. He's got the clear air, but it's the Northern Irish case of Mark Donnelly who leads the field through the chicane for the second time. Robert Spittles, the Latvian charger, pushing on and joking in fact so into pilgrims goes vittles and we will get the answer to your question now tom is thomas done enough to take second spot away from vittles godfrey's going to come through yet to joker and roger thomas nips the pie as well exhaust manifold issues yesterday for the m sport built fiesta but it's going like a train today and he's ahead of round one winner roberts vittles so an inspired joker lap then from roger thomas gets himself up into third position then on the road but of course julian godfrey in front of him has not jokered here then so a little bit deep on the brakes into the hairpin there we go for Roger Thomas slides his way out from the north bend and down the bottom of Mary Hill and I wonder whether Julian Godfrey's got a bit of a technical problem here because he's slowing onto the back of Roger Thomas he hasn't done his joker here and they're coming on to start another lap and Godfrey is going to go joker and get himself out of the way but we're nearly going to go side by side into Chesson's Drift there because I thought Robert Vittles was going to have a look on Roger Thomas but thankfully he thinks better of it yeah gearbox issues for Julian Godfrey yesterday he went back to his workshop and he in East Sussex yes, uh, yesterday afternoon to get the car repaired and try to get the Fiesta back to full working mode. It's been okay in the early part of the meeting, but it's now hitting stride. But Roger Thomas and Robert Spittles at the top of the hill, Julian Godfrey out of the view, is just coming out of the devil's elbow. So you can see that really not going his way. No, no qualifying times matter here in this semi-final. It's all about where you finish. There are only four drivers that started. The top four do progress, so if all four drivers finish, they will progress through into our eight-car final here later on today. Look at Robert Spittles really trying to put the hammer and the pressure onto Roger Thomas to find his way past. It's the Briton versus the Latvian driver. Then we're on the penultimate lap here at uh, Lydon Hill. So the next time around is when the race leader, Mark Donnelly, is going to be able to joker, but he's been consistently quicker than the top two as it stands in this race and Robert Spittles really is putting the pressure onto them and that's slowing for Mark Donnelly problems here for Mark Donnelly the reigning champion is slowing on the penultimate lap of the semi-final here it's all gone wrong for GB1 Mark Donnelly is going to be out of contention for the race win well let's hope he can make the chequered flag and progress through to the final but after a very promising day of action at Lydon Hill it's all gone wrong for the reigning champ Real shame for Donnelly, it's the part of the day on Saturday where he did start to run into technical trouble and but it's a lot worse today on round two of the championship. Roger Thomas is that early joker, the Welshman is charging. The former rally man loving this at Lydon. Roberts Vittles is in his wake and the number 95 car, Roger Thomas, comes up Airy Hill for the final time in this six lap semi-final and he'll be loving life, going to start the final from the front row. Fantastic racing action here then in the semi-final and a great drive from Roger Thomas jokering on that first lap, getting it out of the way early, running his own race, getting ahead of Robert Spittles on the return onto the circuit, and he comes across the timing line to take the chequered flag, but flames coming from underneath Roger Thomas's car. Huge drama for the number 95, so it's going to be hero to zero stuff, because if that's a terminal problem, despite the front row start he would have taken for the final, he might not be making it at all.